Hi Taurus, welcome back for your energetic weather forecast for October 30th to November 5th, already into November. Okay, let's have a look at your outgoing solar male energy. It's your um, fiery get up and go kind of energy. It's your creative energy. Nice, you have the Eight of Wands. So we are definitely getting up and going with this card. Things are in motion. Um, maybe things have been stagnant up until now, but they get moving uh, this week. And they may be up in the air. They may not have landed or not everything has landed, but everything is nice and focused and ready to go. There's a lot of energy behind this card. Eight is about power and energy and strength and so your thinking is your thinking and actions are very focused right now um, ideas that you have are moving again I think we're gonna leave it at that and see how it ties in with the rest it's a very I think it's a very simple card but a very effective one Your emotional, watery, magnetic energy is the Three of Cups. Really nice. So with that card, you're looking at uh, celebrations, things to be thankful for, enjoying the um, harvest of the season. Um, basically, it's the joys of life. So things seem to be going well for you so far, Taurus. Really nice. There can be females around that lift you up, or there can be birthdays, things to celebrate, that kind of thing. Um, but it really is enjoying life. These are the muses, uh, so you could really be inspired. These two go very well together um, because you have a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, and the muses can be inspiring you, uh, for them to, uh, my feeling is for them to grow in this phase. Uh, and maybe you might even be plucking the fruits from some of your ideas. You may have a little bit of harvest from a couple of the ideas that you have been putting out there. Nice as a Taurian would. Let's look at your mental activity and the actions you might be taking um, during the week. It's only a week, the 30th to the 5th. Okay, another three. So three is creativity. Three is the creative energy. It's the trinity. So there may be a feeling of separation. To be honest with you, I think this has a lot to do with um, weather. So there can be some dismal weather around, or you could have problems with um, the shift of the season. So um, maybe you're somebody who is really enjoys the sun, likes to be out in the sun, and with the change of the season, you know, things become a little more cloudy, a little less sunny in some places. Or you could just have some dismal weather. And um, that can hamper some plans, I feel. But uh, it can also just kind of bring on some doldrums. But from what I see, I think it's more uh, maybe you are unable to do something because of uh, weather conditions on an activity level. I don't feel like you're uh, separate or you feel separate from something. Although somebody could uh, at the end of the week or towards the end of the week um, have some issues, I would say. We will look into that. Let's first look at your physical financial situation for the week. <clears throat> nice. Wow, Taurus. This is a great week for you. 
Uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a strong, independent individual who, through their own hard work, creates a beautiful life for themselves. So by the end of the week, I think you might want to take some time for yourself, and maybe it has something to do with this card. But it won't be a horrible thing. Um, you may even be beautifying the home or taking care of things around the home or um, buying things for the home for the or, or even for yourself that beautifies um, so you may be getting a new haircut or buying some new clothes but I s kind of feel that it has something to do with around the home um, because for some reason we're not going somewhere that we wanted to is very possible here and so, because we're not, we'll maybe do some online shopping, something like that, for Taurus. And now I'm going to look at what uh, at your sort of what your spirit is doing or saying. Um, I'm also going to say I feel like you might have a Cancer person around you that you might be dealing with. Not sure why I said that, but uh, I saw it in the stone. Okay. So, nice. Nice. You have the sun card. You are wanting to be out in society. You are wanting to be out with people and enjoying life and having a good time. It's the inner child that wants to play. Um, here's the sunshine midweek, and then maybe things take a turn towards the latter part of the week, um, weather-wise. But for you, I think you will find the sunshine no matter what happens. Um, it's an internal sunshine, <laughs> and um, we're feeling good. We're feeling like we want to be out in society. The spotlight might be on you. There might be some in something enlightening um, uh, that comes forward for you, um, meaning that uh, something is revealed that maybe wasn't before. Interesting. So let's have a look at the Three of Swords and get a clear idea of what's happening with that challenging card. The mental, the sword set is always a little bit difficult, and I think that's because it's our mind that we have to deal with. Yeah, it's like we, the star card, it's like we have to put something off for a later date. And still, I don't think it's the worst thing for you. Maybe you need a nap, you know, or... Maybe you were planning to go out and to be in nature, but uh, weather didn't permit. Something like that. It's very light. It doesn't feel very difficult for me at all. feels like a really good week for you. Um, and some of those ideas really could be bringing in some financial benefit for you. A little windfall or... Um, uh, Taurus is hardworking, so I... I don't know if it's a windfall. You worked hard for it, especially with that nine of pentacles. What does spirit want you to know? You have the fool. Um, it's pretty well aspected, these cards. So I'm going to say that this is a new adventure that you might be uh, embarking upon. Um, and when you do, you go in with full faith. And uh, you can discover a new path possibly that um, that you hadn't thought about before. Yeah, I feel like there's some new information or a new adventure um, that you might embark on, that you might begin with. Interesting. It feels small, but it could get bigger. Hmm. Let's do another one for that card. I find it very intriguing. And it's funny because, you know, um, Alice gets big and small. She grows small and then she gets big again. You have the King of Swords. So it could be with another uh, individual who is very logical, who is um, somebody who's highly intelligent, very analytical. They are people who make decisions with their head and not their heart. But uh, it, this can also be the law. So if there were situations in uh, regarding the law, you could be dealing with that as well. Um, it's also the military. It's that kind of mentality. 
it's very regimented, um, but it's highly logical and analytical. And um, again, this is my Libra card. So you could be dealing with somebody like that. Hmm, nice. I think this is pretty clear and concise. It feels sunny to me. It really does. There is a chance of clouds, but again, I think that might be um, not a problem because uh, I think that you need a break for some reason. I think oh, it's full-on energy and then maybe you need a little pause and then um, I think by the weekend you can kind of be settled and uh, enjoying your home and your life and your family and the beautiful things of the earth. I'm going to say eat with the seasons with this and um, get the best of the harvest right now. Okay. Thanks for listening. I hope this has been helpful. Do like, share, and subscribe if it has been. And if you uh, like it, it really helps the algorithm. It helps me. It helps the channel. And it's a nice exchange of energy. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye.